Welcome to Training in the Trenches with Anisha Dorora. This is the June 28th Speed Upper. Yes, we were in Oregon. Yes, we trained in an aluminum box. Yes, it was over 100 when we started and almost 113 when we finished. It was cooler than my apartment because we have a massive fan, so that did help. Jaren and I knew we were going to train. This is a big deal. We knew we were going to train and we knew it was going to be hot. So we prepared. We hydrated the best we possibly could. And we both understood that our capacity to lift, the amount of weight we might be able to move, the speed at which we could move it, might not be what it would be on a normal temperature day. And that was okay. This is a big deal. It's important to understand that there will always be factors outside of your control and you get to decide what to do with them. We could have made the decision to call it. It wouldn't have been a bad decision. Neither was training because we were prepared. Now, I learned some big things. I learned that Pedialyte and Pediasure are two different things and Pediasure is not a great thing to have on a day like this. Um, I learned that I don't do well with cold water on a hot day. It's too much of a shock to my system. Room temp to warm water is what I need to go with. I learned how to tell the difference between physical exhaustion and heat exhaustion. Maybe heat exhaustion is the wrong word, but the stories that the brain says you can't do any more. I could always do a little more. And when I got to the point where I physically couldn't do another set, another rep, I could tell the difference. This is the beautiful thing about tension. The added heat added tension to the training. And it added an element of tension that we couldn't have created otherwise. That working through that builds up the capacity to work in other unexpected situations. It builds up work capacity, it builds up structural integrity, it builds up the ability to control the stories you tell and how you tell them, the words you use around the training. I learned how to differentiate between dehydrated and just hot. When I stop sweating, I'm dehydrated. And that's when I need to drink. So I, I learned a ton. And it was good. And I had some of the best benching I've had in a minute. My descent was great. My bar path was consistent. No, it didn't move as fast as I wanted it to. But the other elements, the fact that I could get my heels on the floor, all of that spoke to improvement in things that I have specifically been working on. So I was really happy with this workout. I was happy with the outcome. And yeah, I felt dead. I was done at the end of it. But I learned also how to pace myself properly. I learned how long I could be still before moving on to the next thing without crashing and the importance of moving as quickly as possible through the workout so you don't crash while still being wise. How do you balance that? There was a lot of learning in this and I appreciated it and I appreciated the perspective that Jaron brought to it and you know we just we worked through it and it was good it was fun we had a good time and we were ready to leave when it was done. This has been Training in the Trenches with Anisha Dorora. If you haven't already, I invite you to click subscribe now so you don't miss a single episode. For more of my content, visit StrongerAtRest.com where you can sign up for my newsletter and receive exclusive posts not shared in other places. This episode is brought to you by Senecal TV, Vitality Education On Demand. There. Jaron and I equip you to defy the status quo. Define vitality for yourself based on your own identity and values. Develop the capacity 
to live the truths you discover out loud and be deployed into your families, workplaces, and communities in the fullness of who you were created to be. Enjoy a free one-week trial as well as half off your first month by using promo code STRONGER AT REST.